All right, everyone, what's up? We're on to our middleweight training camp episode number six. We're going to be looking at George Gross today, St. George. He's an 82 boxer puncher, 82 vitality, 83 stamina, 83 speed, 83 strength, 83 defense, and 83 heart. Whoa, this is like that guy from Idiocracy who's incredibly average in every single way. Okay, so he's got straight shooter, increased punch accuracy on all jabs and straights by 10%. Interesting. Decreased punch accuracy on all hooks and uppercuts by 10%. I don't like that because I prefer hooks and uppercuts a lot on the inside. Increased damage dealt to opponent block by 10%. Okay, so he's going to be, from what I'm getting from this, like an outside fighter, 1-2 kind of fi fighter. Um, so let's give him a try. He is 160, 183 centimeter reach, 182 centimeter height. So he's definitely bigger than Canelo. Okay, so... Um, Obviously, Canelo breaks often, but he's going to be our standard for testing against. Hopefully, they get that fixed soon, but until then, just for continuity, we're going to be using Canelo again. Also, just for continuity, we're going to be doing um, zoomed out. I will be switching to ringside dolly for all other content after this series. I definitely pr prefer ringside dolly now that I've tried it in an online fight. Um, I feel it allows you to see the punches coming better. And I think it gives you a lot less of a desinky kind of experience online. I also feel like it looks cleaner. Um, and again, you can see the angles better. And once you get used to it, I feel like you can block better and return shots in between punches better as well. So I've been playing on ringside dolly a lot. Let's see how it feels going back to zoomed out now. So let's uh, let's get a feel for this guy. He's gonna definitely have the reach advantage. Remember his bonuses are on straights and jabs. So we're gonna wanna try to stay on the outside because straights and jabs don't work too good when you're fighting on the inside. So this guy's, his uh, traits are telling me that he wants to be an outside fighter. So we're catching Canelo with a good little shot there. We're getting too close here. Got to make sure we're using our directional punches better. Get too close, back it out. Took some good shots from Canelo there. Got him a good little cheeky counter. Circle back to the center of the ring, keep our range. Blocked a lot of that. We got to be careful when we go to his body because we're a taller fighter. And we're quite a bit taller, so leaning in is going to be a big risk for us. So we want to try to get his guard up before we lean in on a body shot. Um, this guy's blocking seems to be pretty good. He got a really nice long jab. Definitely like the way he feels if you can start using him on the outside like he was designed to be used. See, we're catching Canelo with these counters by just ducking out of the way of his shots. Oh, God, that was with one final one. Let's get off the inside with him. Get back to doing what this guy's designed to do and keeping him on the outside. See, I'm throwing too soon. And then I uh, forget to not push forward on the stick, and you end up doing a directional forward punch. So we only burnt eight stamina there. That's pretty good. Um, I like him. If you're good at staying on the outside, I think he'd be a good fighter. And with more practice, with his range, definitely I think he'd be a good fighter. Let's see how he evolves later into the fight here. We did 5% damage that we got to stick to Canelo, but 3% that he recovered. So that's 8% damage. And we really only lost 8% stamina. So pretty decent trade-off. Let's see if we can get a better feel for him as the fight goes on here. See, I'm being uh, messy with my punching, and I'm pushing forward on the movement stick. 
instead of being more clean on my input and making sure my directional punching is better. That's the biggest thing when you're trying to stay on the outside is make sure you're doing your directional punching or else it's very easy for the guy to walk you down. Almost snuck in a counter there. Got another couple good shots there. Good counter. Slip that shot. Oh, I don't know why my shot went so off there. That was crazy. Blocked a little bit of that incoming damage. Okay, we're on the inside. Let's get out. I feel like his punches are uh, really hard look. They, they don't look very good unless you're at distance. He needs his extension. See, if you get on the inside, he really is not good there. He, he wants to be at range. And uh, it's pretty difficult to keep people at range in this game right now, so... Especially a good pressure fighter. I feel like he would require a little bit of practice. For sure. I just don't know if he'd be that strong in the game with the way it's uh, hard to get away from people online. But you can see he has some potential here. When we start doing what he's designed to do, he does it well. And again, I like his blocking. I like how he can... Uh, weave out of the shot of a lower opponent oh, a smaller opponent easy because he's so tall so we went down I think 8% stamina which is fairly consistent at this point his punches come off a little slow to be honest even when you're fully extending them um, which makes it even harder to keep the person at range I feel like he's definitely a kind of one two guy And at some point, you're always going to get sucked into a inside fight with your opponent. See, his block is really good. And if you can keep the guy at bay, he's pretty good. But as soon as you get on the inside, that's where his biggest weakness is. And with how combos are really important in the game right now, I don't think he's, his 1-2 uh, is really going to be enough. He'd be good maybe to outpoint people online with. Well, he, Canelo's taking his bit of head damage here that's actually sticking. We'll see how that continues on later into the fight. See, we're tall too, so we can use that lead uppercut. Almost like a upward jab. Don't want to let Canelo get in on us here. Let's keep him off of us. See, his head health is actually taking sustained damage. It's not recovering that fast. So directional punches with this guy is huge. You gotta be doing directional punches. If you're uh, head to chest with him, he's just not that great. You don't wanna be doing direct, well, what the heck was that? You don't wanna be doing directional punches forward either. If you're on the back foot, actually, he seems really strong, like countering off the back foot, ducking and weaving. See, there's three, four counters in a row and we've really worn his health down. So his punches are kind of slow looking, but they definitely have some impact on them. But that was a really good combo with that power jab. So 82 to 74 is 6% stamina, I think. You can see the damage we're putting in on his head. It's definitely sustained damage. So even though he's just kind of a one-two guy, slow combos at most, it's definitely doing damage because we're getting a lot of counters. I think that's what's making it count. See? Even there. It's just, if you can get used to his range, you can really pick someone apart from the outside. And he has a good block, too. But you don't want to get sucked into the inside just because he has a good block. Work his counters. Like, I can't remember the last time I countered the AI this much. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that 
that are being answered here tonight. <laughs> like this is, I don't know. I'm, I maybe he's a lot better than I think now that I'm starting to get used to him. He's big, like huge for the division. I feel like now I'm getting used to him. Canelo is really struggling to get in on me here. Shouldn't have thrown that hook on the inside because I knew that was going to happen. Bad punch selection there. Yeah, Canelo's just swinging at flies right now. Now that I'm starting to get a hang for this guy and keeping him on the outside here. Oh. Get out of there. Oh, get our range back. Some nice jabs. Get our range back. Work our way back to the center here. See, because he's so tall, all it takes is a little whoop, and you get the guy to miss. Whoop. Oh, he blocked it that time. But you can see all it takes is a little step back, and you get the counter. Or a little lean. See? Okay, that was a good finish to the round. I'd say the further this fight's going, the more I'm getting used to him. I can see his strengths for sure. But again, he's only an 82. So he's an off-meta fighter, a little lower in terms of his points. But I'd say he's around where Kell Brook is for an 82, with Kell Brook being fairly strong on the inside. I'd say this guy's the equivalent, but on the outside, which seems to be a great counter to Canelo. All right, so we're going into round five here. Oh, that would have been a good counter. Oh, don't fight on the inside. See, we get torn apart on the inside because that's where we lose our advantage. Canelo might be putting a bit more pressure on us here. Let's see. Oh, he caught us with something big there. Let's make sure we let our head recover. Directional punch out of trouble here. I definitely feel he has a really good strength at keeping people off of him when you get into trouble. If you're going to work his directional punches properly, combined with his range and the ease of making someone miss with a simple little back step and a little lean in the head. So I think he's really good at making people chase you down and then making them pay as they do. Make sure we're not on the inside here. big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they even oh. throw their shot. Shouldn't have stayed still and waited for that one. Just missed that counter. Got him with a couple of good power shots we snuck in. That's another scoring shot. Good one too. Good jab off the counter. Oh, good finish to the round there. We're chipping him down pretty good, but we're starting to get low end in terms of stamina. Would have been better if we could have dragged his stamina down a little more with us. We're going to have a couple rounds here after maybe this or the next round where we're going to have to wait for his stamina to even up with ours or we'll be at a big disadvantage. So if we can be a little more conservative here and make him miss, it'll help. And they get out of the way of that left hand. We can still outpoint him. No rest for the weary. Oh, that would have been a good counter if we had a caught him with it. He stepped back at the right time. 
There's a good one we could sneak in. Sneak another one in. Might have went in too soon on that one. Could have maybe got a counter there. Oh, that body counter just missed. So we've got him to miss some power shots this round. That's good. Get out of the inside there. Not fight with him too much on the inside. Just try to draw some shots out of him. Side step. Directional punch. Back to the center of the ring off some jabs. What we got us with a big shot there, but the sting wasn't on it that much because we were circling away. Counter, we can sneak in. We made him miss a lot there, too. Work the angles. Get out of there. See if we can get him with a power jab right at the end. Oh, we just missed. Okay, no, it's not burning too much more. <coughs> okay, we got like a decent chunk of stamina out of him there. That's gonna help. So we're gonna go for one more round of conservative, try to draw him down a bit more. If we can sneak in a good amount of counters this round, then the next round we're gonna go in a loose stance and see if we can put him down. Let's see if we can get him to burn some more power shots. Oh, I shouldn't have stepped back in. Too quick. Too quick. Timing was off there. That's all it takes. It's okay. We can still get him to burn stamina. Catch him, catch him with a counter. It's only one punch. There's another good counter. Always watch what the angles the other guy's trying to cut on you. Don't let them take the center of the ring back from you for too long. There's another big counter. Oh, that one just missed. He's really swinging now. Leaned in too quick off that when I leaned back. I could have made a miss there. Oh. Caught us with a body shot. That's okay. We're really starting to get under his skin now. You can see. And we're just picking him apart. His head's orange slowly. And this has been a conservative round for us. 50 seconds. Could have maybe made a miss off that if we had to lean back a little more. Cut an angle when he's trying to open up on us. That's a good counter. Right at the end of the round. Set it back to the center. Finish strong. Okay, so we drew him down 5% more. So now this is that round I was telling you about. He's at 61, we're at 45. So until he gets down to the low 50s, we're at a big disadvantage in terms of getting caught. We'll get put red really quick when there's that like 15, 20% stamina difference. This is where you gotta be cautious until the other person's stamina catches up with yours, which is taking advantage of the dumb low end stamina cap, but whatever. Okay, so let's go loose stance this round. See what we can get done in loose stance. He's got a really solid one too. Oh, I shouldn't have got... See, I went in too quick. When you're trying to do the timing on that, you got to make sure you get it right. Or else you get caught leaning into something instead of leaning out of the way. 
okay. Keep our composure here. There's a good counter power jab. So remember, when we go into loose stance and there's that big stamina disadvantage, it's a big risk. But if we catch him, we might be able to put him down. Catching us with some counters when we open up. Good counter there. Fantastic. Heads orange. 19 seconds left. We might not have the time to get him here. What? <laughs> Was that some Canelo electric boogaloo or what? Okay, we're at 38. Okay, so this guy doesn't have the 39 cap. So hopefully we can get him down to the 40s, but we might need another round or two. Ninth round, ninth round and Canelo hasn't broke yet. Sweet. There's a good counter off a of lean. A couple shots off cutting an angle. Good couple little... Taps, cut the angle, get on the side of him. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those caught areas, over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Beautiful counter punch. Great counter right hand there. Okay, we might be able to get him here. Head's red. Oh, did he tore it out? I'm not sure what happened there. No one threw any, like, uh, any feints. Not sure why he jorted it out there. Not sure what the jording was about here. High level jording out here, but no one. One year anniversary tomorrow. Alright, he's not in trouble anymore here. I think he's back to fighting yet. People said that only stops when he gets knocked out or the round stops, but he comes out of it whenever he wants. So I don't know what that's all about. All right. At least we got a bit of his stamina out of him there. So George Grove's low end stamina cap is 38. And that 1% makes a big difference. Make sure we stay composed here. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punch. Get out of there. Don't want to fight on the inside with him. That could be the real difference. A couple counter shots. Back to the center of the ring. Keep him at max range here. The jab, but it doesn't score. He's trying to walk us down here. Let's make sure we don't let him. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Good left counter that lands. 
the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other well. out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Okay, we got his head orange again. A little counter. That's a good shot there on the inside. Oh, where'd that come from? Survive! Okay. Counter there with a good jab. Should be able to survive the round. We need to get that stamina gap a little closer. Ooh, we just, just weaved out of the way of that. Good counter right at the end. Okay, he's at 50. We're at 38. That's still a pretty big gap. We're going to be pretty much at a big disadvantage right up until the end of the fight. I think we're going into round 11 here. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to be putting him down. I think this is just an outpointing fight unless we get some lucky shot. We don't really want to force it either. It's when you can really time his directional shots well so that you're staying just at max range as a person. Like that is when he's really strong. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with some hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Counter punching. Good couple counters there. Trying to get inside on us. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. How did he absorb that? Oh. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. And now this is about desire. This is about character. Like as you this throw the jab. Blood. Flick back on the stick. And he has a really solid backwards jab. Which you can follow up with other shots. Alright, one more round to go. Now he's a little lower. This will be a little more even to us. So if we've got a chance to put him away, it'll be here. He's at 45% stamina, 47% health. His head health is almost orange. We might be able to put him away if we go into loose stance. So now is the time we take the risk. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Jab doesn't quite connect. Caught us with a big body shot there. Took a couple jabs in his nose. So much speed. What happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think I've got to get him inside close round. He's not chasing after us the same way anymore. Got his head red. Got our body red. So we gotta be careful here. Oh, his head's already orange again. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be taking him out. We can definitely outpoint him here if we finish smart and strong. M minute to go. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. 
work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protect and everything around that. Work the body, do tactics. Sometimes it's all right to actually outbox the fight and beat them on point. So how I stay at max range really well is I circle the movement stick clockwise or counterclockwise in full circles or half circles. And I find that helps me stay at my range without scurrying around the ring too fast. Oh, I thought that might have been it. Got his head red. Oh! He had a sliver there at the at end of that counter. Okay. George Groves, very strong. I would say for an 82 against anyone but Saul, he would probably own. If you really dial in his max range, his weaving blocking, his one, two straights, a little bit of hooks and uppercuts on the inside when you absolutely have to, he's very strong. I would absolutely 100% say he's near the top of the tier list for being able to use online. So we had 120 blocks, 55 counters, which is just crazy against the AI at this point. Our percentages on hooks and uppercuts, a little low as he lacks accuracy there. But our straights and jabs were good. Let's check our punch count. 87, 92, 84, 81, 84, 58, 58, 72, 77, 66, 69, 77. So that was a very controlled fight for the most part. Um, again, I think he's very strong. And if he suits your style in terms of throwing jabs and straights and not as many hooks... I think he's someone that you could definitely pull out online with great success, especially with how big he is for the division. If you're an outside fighter, someone who likes fighting on the back foot and countering, I would definitely pick up George Groves and get the hang of him. All right, everyone. That's it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.